<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so very much for watching. Today we're just gonna have a chit chat, hang out. I'm sitting on the floor in my living room with, <laughs> with my parents' dog. And we're just gonna do our makeup and just catch up because we have a lot to chat about. And I'm gonna move this little baby to the bedroom because he's very loud. You want supper? You want supper? Okay, we're gonna get supper first. He's just excited because he just had his supper. Did y'all say supper or is that just a southern thing? For those of you who don't know, that means dinner here in the south. So I made myself a little iced coffee and I just wanted to sit down and chat with you guys and catch up and just have some friend chat, me and you. I will be replying to as many comments as possible and I just wanna hear how you guys are doing. I might not be showing every single product that I use. I just wanna talk and just catch up. So the very first thing um, that I get the most questions on is about my wedding. <laughs> so I wanna catch up uh, and share about that with you guys. So our venue never forced us to change the date, and this is Tula's new sunscreen, by the way. It's beautiful, I just had to share that. Um, our venue never forced us to change the date, but we just felt like for everyone's health and safety, um, our wedding was supposed to be June 6th, and I wanted to be sure that my grandparents felt comfortable and safe being there and that I could feel like confident having them there and making that decision. I wanted for Daniel's grandparents to feel comfortable and confident. And I just don't think that I personally would have felt like super safe having them there and um, that soon and like, I don't know, I just didn't, I just didn't feel right about it. I mean, went ahead and made the decision to change the date. Now Daniel is an angel on earth. He had already called and spoken to the vendors behind my back secretly um, saying like, what dates do you have available? Like, I think we're gonna have to move this because at that point in time, I literally was in denial about changing the date and so he just went ahead and did that for me and for me I found that out later like a month later and it was just such a beautiful display of of love and affection for me it just really showed me that when tough things arise in our life he's gonna be there for me we're gonna support each other and like we can get through things it's not always gonna be you know peachy keen but like we've got each other's back and that was just a really big thing for me. So we went ahead and um, canceled the June 6th date. We let everyone know, cause we'd already sent out save the dates of course. So we went ahead and let everyone know that we changed the date, recycled all of our invitations. They were done, arrived, beautiful, and we had to buy them all over again. But it's okay, it's fine, I'm fine, everything's fine. Could be much worse. And um, we redid them all over again. <laughs> we actually shipped them out today, praise Jesus, hallelujah. So they are on their way out. I wish I had them here to show you. I'll put a picture of them here. They turned out so beautifully. I'm really, really happy with them. And um, yeah, a lot of love went into those invitations the second time. <laughs> we have rescheduled all of our vendors thus far. I think we are finally back to where we were like two months ago in terms of what we have done. Re-getting our photographer, re-getting the photo booth, re-getting everything. I think we're finally back, back to where we were like two months ago. So that feels good to like have some progress, you know? So in case I wasn't clear, I just realized I didn't really specify. We have picked a new date in September. Uh, Fingers crossed that things will be better by then. If they're not, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. We are just hoping and praying that September will will happen. And if it doesn't, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And we'll just get married when God wants us to get married. You know, I mean, like, what else are we gonna do? Sit around and cry about it? And I'm not saying that, like, you can't sit around and cry about it because trust me, I have, but I feel like at this point in time, all I can do is choose joy and be like, I could be sick, I could, like, what, what am I gonna do, you know? I can sit around and be sad about it, or I can just say, okay, it is what it is, and move forward. I shed enough tears for my June 6th wedding day, and I'm just ready to move forward with joy, and, like, that's what I'm choosing to do. It's a lot easier said than done, but, like, 
it is what it is, you know? What else can we do? What else can we do? What if you guys made the recommendation for us to go ahead and get married at the courthouse? Now, in Georgia, I believe our courthouses are opening back up this week, or maybe they opened up yesterday. Um, so Daniel and I have discussed, let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. Be honest, like I can't decide to be honest. I'm like 50-50. We discussed the possibility of eloping in June on our original date, June 6th, I think it'd be kind of sweet. And just deciding to go ahead and start our lives together on that date, I view it as like not letting this virus win, not letting coronavirus ruin the day and like still deciding to join our lives together on that day that we have looked forward to for over a year now. We're not promised tomorrow and just like going for it. Um, but we will just get to then already start moving in his stuff, already start, you know, the process of changing the names and the paperwork and all of that. And I don't know. And then still getting married in September. It's just an idea. Sorry, the sun is like changing every five seconds. But then sometimes I feel like if we do that, will then September feel as special? Like will me walking down the church wedding aisle feel like, oh, we're already married? Or will it be just as special because I'll be surrounded by my loved ones and I will have never gotten to experience that before? I don't know, let me know you guys' thoughts. We're debating and trying to figure it out. It seems to be what a lot of you guys are doing because a lot of you had messaged me about this. Um, but yeah, just let me know. Be honest, be like, no girl, that's a bad idea. Or yes girl, start your love. <laughs> Next I kinda just wanna talk about coronavirus in general. <laughs> I know it's kind of a depressing topic, but I just kinda wanna share just for, just for a second that I have definitely not been myself. I definitely have gained at least five pounds and I'm okay with that. Like, it is what it is. Like, I'm in quarantine and I feel like I was so hard on myself the first couple weeks. Like, why aren't you working out? Why aren't you staying motivated? Why are you going to bed so late? Why are you gaining weight? Why are you eating so much? And it's like, dude, because you're in a pandemic, girl, like, give yourself a break. So, I just wanna say to you, staying motivated, doing things, living your life, working out, staying healthy, all of that is amazing. It's so good for you mentally, but Give yourself some grace during this time because I definitely haven't been giving myself grace. I've been really hard on myself. Just be kind to yourself. <laughs> now I'm just going to contour my forehead a little bit. Where are my big forehead sisters at? Where you at, sister? You know what, this sounds really stupid, but I used to Google <laughs> people with big foreheads, like celebrities with big foreheads, <laughs> so that I could see like representation of beautiful women with big foreheads. <laughs> Olivia Wilde, Angelina Jolie, Zoe Zaldana, like I am in good company and I really just want to show me too like how important representation is um, in the media of all different types of people with different body types, different skin colors. I don't know, that was just kind of like an eye-opening moment for me. I didn't really know why I just told you that, but we're getting close. How are you guys doing? Lay it on me, update me. How are you doing in quarantine? How are you feeling? Are you feeling alone? Are you doing this alone? Are you feeling unmotivated, not creative? Like, or are you thriving? Are you like an independent personality and this is, you know, your dream month to get away from people? <laughs> Let me know. And I am really sorry that this lighting keeps changing every five seconds on us. Like, just, this is, this is quarantine. This is how it is. Just bear with me. Love me, <laughs> love me. Just give me grace, girl, give me grace. Um, but anywho, this is super random, but I could not be more excited. I ordered Riri's Fenty Bronzer and Cream Blush, and I am just the biggest liquid cream blush fan in the world. The one I'm using right now is from the brand Kaja in the color Feisty, and um, I don't know, I just feel like cream products just look so they look so real on the skin, you know? It just doesn't look like powdery and fake and I don't know. I'm just like such a fan. So next I wanna to touch on the topic of being a vegetarian because I am not one, but I wanna be one. Um, I'm just scared to commit and then mess up. So I've been kind of like slowly etching into it because I feel as though if I all of a sudden stop eating all chicken, all turkey, all fish, like I'm just gonna crack one day and eat everything. <laughs> so I've been trying to like slowly eliminate things. 
So I've been working on cutting out dairy, although I know that's more vegan, but I've been working on cutting that out and chicken out right now. And it's so hard, just being honest, it's really hard because I feel like I grew up eating chicken like every day, all day. That was just like what we had for dinner. And so I just don't even know what to cook anymore. I don't know what to eat. I know I'll be embarrassed if I say, guys, I'm going vegetarian. And then I go to Chick-fil-A in a month. Like, I don't wanna do that. I wanna really stick to it. So I'm trying to slowly eliminate it and make it um, like a lifestyle thing instead of just like a crash diet, if that makes sense. If you have any suggestions for someone that's trying to go down that route who is afraid of like giving in and quitting. I just don't want that to happen. I want to do it successfully. So yeah, just, I don't know, help a girl out. Quarantine has not been kind to my brow game. Oh my gosh, I am like dying to go get them threaded. I feel like I'll just feel like a brand new woman. Lord of mercy. It's Maybelline's The Falsies Lash Lip. This is the before and then this is the after. So I definitely think that this mascara it's phenomenal, it makes a really big difference. All right, let's wrap this up and conclude with lips. This is from the brand Koki. It's so stinking affordable. Let me look up the price just to prove to you how cheap this is. This bad boy is $5.99 at Sally Beauty and this is in the color Nude. It's so stinking pretty. Okay, I actually just applied the Koki Nude color all over the lip, and then I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Lip Liner in Plum Berry around the edges and just kinda create this like ombre effect. This is the lip color. I really, really like how it turned out. It's really pretty. Anywho, we're gonna go in with some setting spray. <laughs> Dually really likes the lip color too. Um, this is Pixie's Makeup Fixing Mist. And I'm just gonna top this with some Lana Lips Lip Water. It's a really, really pretty formulation because it's kind of like iridescent. This is the finished look. I really, really love it. I think it just turned out so like youthful and pretty. The skin just looks like fresh and not overdone. But thank you so much for just sitting down and catching up with me. It really feels like catching up with an old friend and I have been missing my friends so much. So I, I thoroughly enjoyed this. Look in the camera so they can see your pretty eyes, your pretty golden eyes. Doodle. Good boy. Yes. Good. <laughs> All right, that was short lived. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I truly hope you enjoyed today's video. All right, until next time, I'll see you soon.